Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Homeward Bound, our hero's rest for a period of time. And when it is over, um, you guys have returned to full HP. All right. Back up to 52. So is that like 50 hours of rest? Or 50, uh, 50 uh, 48 HP hours. time? Two days. Yeah. Alright, I guess we uh I'll take points and we'll head down this corridor. Um do you actually maybe you should take point with the gem of sync in case there's any more lurkers down here. <clears throat> sure. Spirit blade in one hand, gem of dressing in the other. I will cautiously cross this ravine. Mm-hmm. Easy enough to do, maybe five feet deep, five to eight feet wide. You go across without problem and find yourself at the entryway to another tunnel that runs forward and sort of down. Let's keep going. Yeah. Can you um, take us back to the main map, Nail, just so in case we want to keep notes? What main map? There was like a map where we drew the five different paths when we were writing on which each path led to. Not okay. this one, it was like uh, the one we were on, this one, yeah. Hey, yeah, we're in number three right now, right? Mine. Yeah, but we... Was there only one path down the mine? E mm. I think we explored some, we got to a fort and it was kind of a nothing there. And then it dead ended onto like a, a cliff face into the ocean. And then we found a, the mine. The fourth was the second one. No, there's Middle this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is just the mine. It had, like, symbols of Malchus carved onto the entranceway, and then they were all, like, crossed out, right? Something like that. Yeah. Well, speaking okay. of those symbols of Malchus, after you walk down and down and curl and spiral and twist and turn deep into the earth, um, the temperature gets warm, and you come across a section that has been intentionally carved out for maybe about 10 feet. So you've got these rough hewn walls that then break out a little bit and then become very flat and then break back in and return to rough hewn walls. So that the sides are flat and straight and carved, but the top and the bottom are still sort of rough. And but only on for 10 feet. Yeah, yeah, and on the sides, on either end, um, you can see symbols of Malchus carved all over. You know, it's like a swirl here, a swirl here, a bigger swirl here, a swirl inside of a swirl, a swirl over here, a swirl over there. All over are various sizes and shapes of symbols of Malchus carved into every conceivable surface over and over again. That's uh, going the right way. Looking through the gem of tree seeing, are they, is there anything special about these carvings, or are they just scratches in rock? They're scratches in rock. Okay. We've had no particular involvement with Malchus, right? It doesn't really mean much to us, this Malchus carving. No, but it seems... doesn't seem unusual that demons would worship the god of chaos. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, I think we just keep going. <clears throat> All right. You continue walking for unknown periods of time past this symbol of carving of Malchus. And every so often you pass another patch like this um, with carvings always to Malchus. But the carvings seem to grow more frantic and scrawled as time goes on. They become sort of more hectic and less well planned. And I know the first time I described it, it didn't seem very well planned out, but it's getting weirder and crazier where the carvings overlap over each other. And then in the cracks written by them are even smaller carvings. Someone has, or something, has taken time and determination to put these in place, but also not a lot of precision or patience. There's little bits of rubble on the ground where these carvings are that just they let the rocks fall where they did.
then you come across a window. No glass, just a hole in the side of the wall that you can gaze through and see a small structure or a carved out room on the other side. What's in the ring? Rubble. Bits of broken rock. Is it the window small enough that we can't get through, or...? No, it's about, you know, three feet by three feet. What's on the other side? What do we see outside the window? Inside the window seems to be some fallen rubble, but I don't know how close you're looking at it. I don't want to assume that you're, like, poking Uh, your head inside. I look at the gem of three scene first. Seems just like ordinary rock and rubble. And then I approach the window and look at it. The first thing you notice is a clawed foot um, sort of jutting out from underneath one of these big rubble piles. It's a black, blackened and sort of, well, I guess you're in sort of in a grayscale world as is, so it's darkly shaded um, with big claws and sort of crushing by the rubble, right? Mm -hmm. Look, that's a good assumption. Point this out to William. Does the path still keep going? It does. Do you want to check this out, Ryan? Uh, Grimes, sorry. Yeah, I poke my head out the window. Well, cautiously approach the window and then look at it. Yeah. Um, Looks like the room inside here kind of runs to the left a little bit. It's on the right side, so it runs in the direction that you're heading. Uh, And you can see other areas of collapse in here. What's what's out the window? It's just another room. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a room. With some broken rubble. Mm. It's like a window between a, a room and a corridor. You're in the corridor. Okay. But the path okay. goes in the same direction. If we were to go mm-hmm. through the window and turn left, we'd just be going in the same way that we're going Right, out. so that, yeah, yeah, that room sort of runs parallel to the path that you're on, and there's just like, boop, little window between the two. I mean, we should I, check it out. I guess I stop and look side to side through the window. Make me a perception check. Um, down the hallway a little bit you will notice a few other sections of broken rubble and what appears to be a clawed hand holding one of those obsidian blades sticking out from another patch of rubble I'll relay this there's some collapsed rubble I wonder if one of those golems back there crushed a few demons sounds like it look yeah, can we crawl through that, do you think? Mm-hmm. Why are the demons still here? Don't they usually disappear when they die? Maybe not on this plane. Have we killed demons in this plane? We have. We have, yeah. Neil? I don't know. Oh, come on. <clears throat> are you we would have noticed mind? that. What plane are not you even on? Where are you? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I don't know. I guess not, uh, Grimes. <clears throat> All right, Let's, uh... I will all step in through the window. Climb into the window. Yeah, to this not a problem. Room. It yeah, runs follow. maybe 60 or 80 feet forward. Uh, what is your light source? And I guess there's no light source needed. Everything is just ambient, dim light everywhere. Well, my rune blade lights up in combat, but I've also got the flame sword if we need light. Yeah, but I here on this my... shadow plane, neither of them really illuminate anything. They provide no yes. additional lighting. And then we don't need. Okay, I have my spirit blades that. No, yeah, they've got lights as well. But again, kind of shed, yeah. Yeah, shed this sounds, like, sounds like we don't need light. Nothing no. sheds light, and we don't need light. Yeah, it's just all eternally dimly lit. Everything, no matter what your light source. Okay. Everything so, is in shadow. Let's keep and try and keep a mental image of what we're doing here. So we're going down the separate corridor, but we can always turn back and come and carry on the way we were going. Is this mm-hmm. the end? Like of this no. corridor of this room or does it go both directions you'd have to explore to the oh yeah so the window's on one end and then it runs at least 80 feet in this direction um is it it's not perp- it's perpendicular or parallel to a parallel path. to the main path okay um so i'll approach the rubble pile that there's a claw sticking out of and uncover mm-hmm. it uncover the body yeah there's a, a demon body in here and it's intact it's intact 
Uh, can um, I tell what type of demon? Is it one of the warriors? or? It looks like one of the taskmasters. So it's big. Mm, it's like a nine yeah. foot tall demon body. Big guy. Big boy. I'll help <clears> any you equipment? Clear the rocks off it. Yeah. Is there a sword, a whip? You find a sword, you find a whip, and you find this odd thing hanging from its hip. Uh, oh, yeah, yes. there's, a, there's a breastplate on it. Okay. What's, what's hanging from its hip? It looks like a dowsing rod. Yes. <laughs> Pick it up curiously. It's made out what of some that? bizarre material. It looks more like a forked tongue of a snake or something. But, you know, Does it feel about fleshy very or long. It, it feels it made of... Uh, what's the term? Like calloused flesh? Does that make sense? It feels organic. It doesn't. It's not like it's made out of uh, metal or stone. Right. Feels organic in nature. I look at it through the gem of seeing. So I've sheathed my phase dagger at this point, and looking at it with the gem of seeing. Is it magical? Through the gem of seeing, does the gem of it seeing does show look magic or different. It doesn't show if it's magic, does it? No, but what you see isn't some like desiccated calloused piece of tongue it's more of like an actively waving tongue as if it's like still in something's mouth kind of flickering and moving around look at this what you... i'll hand william the gem can i, can I hold the tongue as well mm -hmm. uh if you want i was more having you like look at it but sure well yeah okay so once i get a look at it, i see it moving uh i'd say Pass it here, and I hold it, and I want to like move it around. Does it? Is it like a chicken's head? Like, does it stay still, or does it rotate? Does it act differently? You know, when I'm moving it around, looking through the gem. Oh, no, it kind of just does its its regular thing. Um, okay. I don't know what this is, uh, Grimes, but maybe we should keep hold of it and give it back to you. You hear this weird, I... like hissing sound in the background from the tongue, or down the hallway. Uh, you, th you think it's coming from the tongue? Is it too big to be the tongues of one of the hydras? Mm -hmm. Or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I hand it back to Grimes and I go for the whip on the taskmaster. How big is this thing? Could I use it? Hmm, Twenty feet long. In theory, you could use it. You're not proficient with the whip, so you'd have some penalties, and you'd probably need a little while of practice to be able to do it correctly. I'm writing it. Taskmaster whip. How much does it weigh? Four pounds. Perfect. Does this fork seem like a weapon? Like if I poke the taskmaster with it, is it sharp enough to puncture flesh? Certainly not. Should... No. Hmm. Does it like lick the taskmaster through the gem yeah. when we put it near it? Mm -mm. No, but there's this like humming or whistling or like hissing sound. Is it, um, what's the word, uh, like regular? Does it change? It's very regular, like, you know, um, you hit a, a glass with a, the side of a fork and it just sort of like resonates with itself. Okay, well, keep hold of it, Grimes, see if you can work on um, what it's for. Yeah, with the gem of tree scene, does the tongue stay pointing in the same direction? As you move it around, uh, no, like you, you... you move it around and it kind of flaps up and down, and you keep like playing with it. And at some point, you like kind of turn perpendicular to the whole corridor and the whole passageway thing. And all of a sudden, the tongue like flips and goes completely straight. And the only... uh, humming sound grows loud, more loud, louder. So which can way? Only... Does it... Can we only see this through the gem, or yes, does the... through the through the gem only, you can see the, like, snapping mm -hmm. too. But we all hear it getting louder. Mm-hmm. It's pointing yeah. that way. Um, yeah, and you kind gesturing of... gesturing to a wall, if you and I hand play the gem with it, to William. It actually get The humming gets louder when you turn, not just perpendicular, but, like, slightly back the direction that you've come. That's when it is at its most stiff and loudest resonation. Maybe we should follow it. Maybe. Let's see if uh, any of these other guys have similar 
his equipment. Right, right, there's a yeah, rubble that's... pile nearby, right? Yeah, you guys can start searching the rubble piles. Yep. I would like a strength check from uh, both of you, just to see how quickly you can dig through the rubble. 31. Of course, time passes. matter. Wait. We both get 31. Easy peasy. You sort through the rubble, no problem, pulling it apart. You have uncovered a total of four of these bodies. One of them is a taskmaster, and three of them are warriors. And they look like they have been crushed by the rock. Um, as if the rocket just like fell on them and broke them to pieces. Weird. Does this, um, the corridor that we're in now, does it extend on indefinitely or is this like a small room that ends at some point? Uh, it does come to an end. You have, I guess at this point, while you're searching the rubble, you will get to the end and find another small room attached to the side um, and more of like a proper doorway, not just a window, but like a, a hole cut in the entire wall that would allow you to get back to the main tunnel. Oh, okay. um, the the other small doorway on the other side so you come in through the window you walk down the hall to your left back towards the main tunnel is a, a doorway and on your right is also another doorway into a heavily collapsed room that would be too much effort to try and get through Ooh. I mean I mean, I'll start trying what to is time to an immortal yeah well I don't know about immortal but uh, I'll start trying to clear some of the rocks to see if um yeah. It's um, got to be easy to uncover. Yeah, give me did another find anything? Yeah. Did we find anything interesting on the other demons? Did any of them uh, have... They have uh, their weapons, they have their armor, that's about it. No no forked tongues. This is the only one. Uh, William, you start digging this out when an eyeball stares out at you. You oh, like, pick up one I... rock and there's like an eye staring right at you. I put the rock Big back. Big eye. This one can go pack. back here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's nothing here. There's okay. There's something here. An eye? Maybe it's. Does it look like too big to be a beholder? No. Is it a? Is it alive? I shout, coming over. Yeah, it was moving. I think. Was it moving? Ah, uh, you put the rock back pretty quickly. <laughs> okay, I duck down. I walk, and, I walk and over and look over. at the pile through the gem of tree seeing. Uh, it just still looks like a pile of rocks. Okay. I shoved my sword through the eye. Fuck you that. covered it with a rock. No, I, okay, so I duck down so that it wouldn't see me, and then mm -hmm. I pull the rock back. Sure. And then I... And then... Shove your sword through the eye? Yeah, it splits the eye open. Okay. I uncover, like, what was it? There's an eye stock attached to it. No, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Was it dead before? Like yeah. crushed by the rubble pile. Oh, it's yeah. Already dead. Yeah, you can uncover. It's a, a crushed beholder. Fuck. So, the, so I've uncovered quite a bit of the rock. I pull the dead beholder out. Is it clearing up, or is there just more? Is it like this whole room is completely collapsed? The whole room is completely collapsed, and there's at least one beholder in it. Who knows what else might be in here? The beholder looks dead, like squished and broken apart. Although all of its fluids are missing okay I mean I don't know Grimes maybe we should uh, go back to the main corridor Sh should we see where this tongue's pointing yeah it's saying you said it's going back the other way right through that maybe. wall behind us I, mean, I guess we can we backtrack down the side room as far as we could yeah if we go back to the main the corridor wall. and head back the way we came, and maybe at some point, you said it was like diagonally back that way. Maybe at some point it'll become perfectly horizontal and we'll know. You know, maybe one of those patches of carved walls is where it's pointing. That we is it pointing in the direction of the main corridor or to the wall off to the like side? Like diagonally through the main corridor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we backtrack and... Sure. Yeah. He's passages are not straight they twist and turn and you find wow. yourself coming back in a direction um where the forked tongue sort of resonates most loudly directly in front of you and it starts to pick up and hum in your ear sort of like have, um, a, a mosquito buzzing nearby have we reached the room with the elementals yet or are we still in front of you're that? still far from that 
Um, yeah, you walk, like, you walk forward, straight. and it mm -hmm. hums and resonates, and you can feel it in your hands a little bit as it vibrates. It's leading us here. Do we find a point where like we walk past and it like flips around the other direction? If you or will like walk spins. far enough, if you just keep yeah. walking in the direction of the humming, it does eventually quiet down and stop. And if you turn around, then it picks up again. Mm -hmm. But then if you turn around and walk, it like stays picked up for a period of, I don't know, quarter mile, half mile or something. It okay. appears that there is a, a large section of tunnel that it is um, attracted to, uh, interacting yeah. with. We've got so the we gem can... of true seeing, and I'm using that to look at the tongue. Do I see anything on the walls in this corridor? That, mm -mm. or can I try and find the center of where it was pointing? Like I was give expecting an... there to be like a flip point, but yeah, yeah. Give me an int check, Grimes. Roll well, Ryan. Uh, I'm not the not the smallest. sharpest tool on the shed. I guess I could... <laughs> Natural it's too one. fucking hard yeah. to tell. You've, it's over this like eighth of a mile, half a mile area. It'd be hard to find the very center without like a mile of rope that you can fold in half. Hmm. That sounds. Is there any periods of carved wall in this area in this one mile? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are a couple. Just one or a couple? Yeah. Uh, okay, check. so when we William. Oh yeah. Okay. Fuck all. <laughs> Neither of you guys can make any sense of this shit. <laughs> All right, maybe we should carry on back down the corridor. Like, Grimes, maybe it's pointing through the... Maybe where we need to go, it'll loop back around to at some point. Maybe. I mm, still wait, feel like that... there's got to be something in this hallway. The corridor is going down, right? It's going down and Generally elevation. down. Generally. Okay, Sometimes so the, it goes is up. The talk, but... Is the tongue completely horizontal, or is it somewhat up or somewhat down? That depends on how you hold it. Okay, but, you know, if I'm holding it straight, does it look like it would be... It might be to the left, through the wall, but it's like through the wall and down a bit, or is it through the wall and up a bit? Or is it through the wall straight? It's not even through the wall anymore. It's like straight up and down this passageway. What does it... I mean, if we're going, say, forward, then it's going downwards, right? It's pointing downwards somewhat, because it's following the path down. I mean, the, the I incline is pretty minimal here, so okay, okay. the difference between slightly angled this way, slightly angled that way, and perfectly horizontal okay. but is... bear with me. I'm saying that if it's like, you know, another 10 miles down the tunnel, looping around, uh, chances are that it would be significantly deeper, the 10 mile points where the thing gets pointed. Right, but you are, you are walking through the area which it is resonating, in which it resonates most strongly, and that does not have a great... Um, change in angle and you're already sort of in the area like it's not resonating to the wall or to the ground or the ceiling it's resonating back oh, and it's forth just, oh it's just, just in this forth. area okay so it mm -hmm. is this stretch of corridor okay so it's there's like two bits of carved section. wall mm -hmm. you know grimes so maybe we should spend some time they said there's two sections of carved wall so maybe we should spend some time at each of them maybe there's a switch or a a thing that oh we there are carvings <laughs> yeah I guess we analyze these carvings with uh spend some more time yeah. optimistic uh yeah i don't know well I don't know does anyone have a religion or, proficiency i can't yes. even read yeah give me a religion proficiency william wait no i did actually sorry fuck it I who knows I did. man i thought i did yeah i thought i did what? these demons are crazy people how could could they even make sense you know like it's probably just the writings of minds gone mad. If I were a by the books rogue, I would have a read language <laughs> ability. But alas. Yep, sorry. But alas. Um, and a lad. Using the what gem of true seeing, there's nothing special about these carvings. Correct. I think we spend a fair bit of time. I, mean, I guess we both rolled ones on our in checks. Mm -hmm. but, so I don't know that we're going to get anywhere. But I think. We waste some time wandering up and down the uh, this corridor, maybe going a little mad ourselves, trying to make sense of these chaotic, demonic symbols. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean we're already a little bit mad, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like I tried tracing my hand across them. They feel rough to your finger tips. 
Um, but they I try interacting no with them with the tongue, like why, tracing the tongue over the uh, over the symbols. Yeah, the tongue as you turn it perpendicular to the pathway, the resonation like significantly slows, and it just kind of pokes the rocks. Hmm. You look at it through the gem hmm. true seeing. Even though you're doing this, the tongue is sort of like lapping up and down on them. Hmm. Okay, well, so I don't know if you were saying it takes some time to react, like it. You know, we're walking for a quarter of a mile and then it stops resonating. But mm -hmm. if I, but if I turn back around and then go back the other way, it'll it'll, it'll pick be up going again. again for a bit. Yeah. But when I turn perpendicular, it reacts immediately. Yeah. When you turn perpendicular, it's just sort of nothing. It's only when you point it up or down this section of hallway. I feel like we could spend some time maybe uh, re rolling those in checks. Sure. You know, you wanna... I think we walk up and down this corridor a little bit and try and just make sense of this. All right. I'll, each of you give me one more int check. You spend yeah. an indeterminate period of time, possibly days. Who knows? Is that a 24. 24 for you? I don't Fuck know, William. I don't think there's anything here. It's got to mean something, Grimes. They, uh, this guy's carrying this thing for a reason. What have we got to lose? Our minds. Yeah, maybe you've still got one to lose. Um, any new insights from that check or not? No. If not, I think. All right, I think maybe we should carry on down the corridor. Maybe it'll pick back up somewhere down the line. You return to the corridor, start walking down. A short while later, you come back past that window with the side corridor with the collapsed rooms and the rubble and the dead bodies. And you walk past that, and you pass the doorway that leads into that, and you walk think, past that. And can I, I get? I think I've got the fork tuck, tucked in my belt at this point. I don't think we're okay. using it anymore. Okay. Can I get a con uh, check from both checks? of you? Yes, sirs. Constitution. Yes. Uh, doesn't bad well, does it? Oh. Twenty-eight. Grimes, you begin to feel a pain in your body, an ache. Which it's, part of my body? It's sort of like the right at the bottom of your sternum. Mm-hmm. Am I getting tired? Hungry? Or is it like a... Yeah, you're hungry in a way that you haven't been in William, a long time. William, I feel strange, weak. I What's wrong? I think am I hungry you? Mm -hmm. I think I'm hungry. Don't say that Grimes, because I'm nothing good to eat here. I look down at my stomach. Is it rumbling? Am I Not tired? Yet. Uh I mean, God, you've always been sort of tired. This whole plodding has been like a constant walk tired, but walking just slowly enough that you don't get more fatigued the entire time. You've developed we, like this uh... trudge. Are we uh, still grayscale? Yeah. Is everything still grayscale? Yeah, I mean, you have, you're walking with weapons out usually, I would expect. Maybe drawn, maybe not drawn, I don't know. It's still sort of gray. But now that you're looking around, like it's gray, but you do get the sense that the light has dimmed somewhat. You know, it's still- um, I look at William and look at William through the gem of seeing. Um. I guess first off, have our surroundings changed? Looking to the gem of true seeing. Can't no, it's still just as rocky William, crap. How's William's transformation? <laughs> it hasn't really changed. Right. He's so still he the looks same normal. Amount. And then through the gem of true seeing, he's got like weird growths on his face. And yeah. Spikes and ridges here and there. Yeah, All right, a little don't bit here, a little it. bit there. <laughs> don't overplay it. <laughs> Sharp teeth, that's all. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, Grimes, maybe can that's you, a good sign. Can you draw your flame sword? Yeah, sure. I can we get some light? light and pull the um, flame sword. You know, he pulls it out and it does get a little bit lighter. And in fact, you can see just a hint of orange playing across his face. Is that... Am I, am I hallucinating? Or are those flames orange? You look at the wall. I suppose it, uh, you're right. Maybe that's... What does this mean, though? We're not 
in this shadow place anymore. I wonder if uh, that corridor, maybe we crossed somewhere else. Maybe that's what the tongue was pointing to. I think we should keep moving before we need to feed. Well, we can always go back if we get too hungry. What? Let's keep going. Eat some demons? Well, no, maybe we won't feel hungry anymore if we go back there. Well, I feel alright for now anyway. Let's keep going. Are you thirsty, Grimes? Not yet. I don't know. Kind of. I've, I've forgotten what it feels like. Um, then think about it. Let's keep let's let's keep walking. We don't even have a water skin anymore. All right, so we keep moving. Yeah. All right. You push down the corridor, and you walk, uh, and as you trudge forward, Grimes, you begin to feel your belly rumble, and after a few more hours, William, you begin to feel your belly rumble as well. You both are definitely getting a little hungry now. After another couple of more. hours. You get a little bit thirsty, and the light begins to get brighter, and color is slowly returning. Uh, is it still just a single winding passageway? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There have been some small changes, though. You see, like, a, a quartz crystal sticking out of the wall, whereas it was just rocky before. It's not valuable, is it? Probably, actually. It's a nice, big, fat quartz crystal. You could chop I mean, that shit off and... I mean, I've stuffed the gem of... or the bag of holding with actual gemstones. If it's just quartz, it's probably not valuable. Right, yeah, I mean, it's quartz. It's the less, least valuable of all the rocks. But it's a giant... you know, it's like a chunk of quartz this big. It's still probably pretty legit. Can't eat quartz, right? Can't eat anything in this place. I'm starting to feel thirsty, Grimes. You don't have your water skin anymore, do you? Or any potions? No. Guess let's pick up the pace. Probably got, what, yeah. a day? And then we better head back and hope that this goes away. Alright, let's, let's pick up the pace, so maybe we'll move to a light jog. I don't know if that'll... That may just waste more energy. Okay, yeah, maybe you're right. A fast walk. Whatever's most you efficient. Pick it up. Yeah, we try and move a little yeah. bit faster. Do our um, magic armor... It magically heats us. Is it, like, efficient? Is this, like, a still suit or something that, like, keeps moisture in? Or is it heating us and we're evaporating water? Uh, it, I don't know what a still suit is, but I don't think it's that. From Dune. Oh yeah, from oh, June, yeah. yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> this is just like it's magically warm. So if you are cruising and warm yourself, you'll probably start sweating more with it on. It, there's not a way to like loosen it, is there? Like undo buckles so that it's like hanging open. It's just like sure. A... It might be open Press. slightly, but then the mm -hmm. AC penalty of it is going to go down slightly, and you're still going sure. to be like warmed. Okay, whatever. It. All right, keep moving. Yeah. I try and. I don't know, it's hard to keep track of a day, but like at some point we're going to have to turn around and go back. Yeah. Uh, can I get a D10 minus 5 for both of you? Zero. Negative one. Yeah. You're walking down this hallway when you are both taken by surprise as arms reach out of the ceiling and reach for uh, each of you roll me a d20 we'll see who it reaches for it reaches for grimes uh coming from either side coming from the ceiling directly above you are three arms that reach out and grab at you by surprise what is this um Seven, so we have seven. Uh, we have a twelve, a twenty-three, and a seventeen. Twenty-three hits. Um, is seventeen already including surprise bonus? Yes. And that should be missed, even without Dex. I have nineteen AC. Okay. 
So one hit. One hit. So one of these arms grabs you for minimal damage, for two points of damage. Does um, it punch me or does it grab me? It grabs you and it digs its claws in. Okay. Fingernails, like. Oh, what kind um, of hand is it? Is it like bigger than a human hand or just like a human arm? Oh, it's a little bit. It's like um, the same width as a human hand, but the fingers are like twice as long. All right. Um, well, I've got a solution to these. Uh, and then when the one hand grabs you and it sort of pulls the rest of this head towards you, except the head isn't a normal head. It's more of like... Um, well, it breaks into three different directions on like the end of a cone. It looks like that, reaching for you and takes a bite at you. Shit. With a uh, 24, 23, which I think is a hit. Yep. And it bites for... It's a lot of d4s, though. Four. Six. Ooh, a lot of ones, a lot of ones. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. That can't be right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Eleven damage. Ah, am I lifted up or is the did the creature descend from the ceiling? It descended from the ceiling and like comes out and just takes a bite out of you. Um one of the uses its angle, bite down, imposes penalties. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay. Uh, and then it unbites, like it bites you, lets go with everything, and uses the rest of its movement to go back into the wall. Uh, and we can roll initiative. And I will uh, keep its I have initiative. have my flame bait drawn. Oh, right. oh my god, we both roll tens. Okay. Uh, William, you're first. All right, well, do I see it? Nope. No, ready and attack. Okay. Grimes? I draw both blades and whirl around, look up at the see, ceiling. You guys are both there staring at the ceiling. I'm ready. I mean, I, after the last fight, I feel like it might come out of the walls as well. So, yeah. I'm so which way are you guys I'm facing? I'm looking around, you know. I'm spinning, I'm looking up. Do we see anything? Did it disappear no. into the rock, or it disappeared into the rock and it's gone? And a How minute passes. How fast are we feeling, though? Same as um, a minute ago. You know, you're you're yep. thirsty. You haven't had a glass of water in months. But it I'm feels relying like on you to tell us when we should turn around, though. Like, to feel like we're getting to the point where if we had to walk back, we'd be on the verge of being Not fucked yet. by the time. Okay. Not so yet. We'll rely on wisdom checks occasionally for that um, sort of. Gauge. Okay, maybe we should keep going. Maybe we should just turn around. Do you know any? Do you know what these things are? I barely got a look at it. Bit me. It had like three jaws. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. Were there Not three like of them or just one? Like, was it one creature with three arms? Was that enough clear? It was, was that one creature clear? with three arms? Three eyes, each one on a section of a jaw that rips apart. <clears throat> like, as if it were to split open from the top of its head. Yeah. What, did it very clearly move through the wall, or do I mm -hmm. think I... Okay. It moved through stone like it was water, like it was a fish, a rock yeah. fish. Water Why is there so much stuff down here? Yeah. Maybe where... I mean, I don't know how much does... People I pull out the, the gem that you're seeing the after the first minute. Okay. Yeah. One of my hands and look for it. Yeah, you gaze around. It's just rock wall around you. William with his weird face tendrils. That's it. It's 
speak to it, Grunts. I don't think I can. Can you hear me? I shout out. How does it echoes sound? through the chamber. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Keep moving. Stay on guard. Yeah. I've got right. the gem of seeing in one hand, spirit blade in another. Um, it's awkward to travel with the gem of true seeing, but occasionally I'll stop, look around, and jog to catch up. I move quite a bit faster than William, anyways. Okay. Um, so. I would like you guys are on what I would consider high alert, so I'd like you to make me those D10 minus fives again, but at advantage because you are on alert. And yet this creature, which is definitely coming back, uh, can approach you from favorable angles by surprise. Ooh, Five. very nice, Nick. Thank you. Not so nice, Grimes. Um, so the creature sort of pops out of the wall again. And William, why don't you roll initiative against it just by yourself? Okay. It will roll a seven. You will roll a six. six. So you see it like begin to uh, emerge just beneath your feet. Like it's gonna pop up and grab Grimes as he walks over it. And you can turn and attack it before it gets a bite on Grimes. 25. Easy hit. Is that crit? No. Okay. 19. Ooh, you will bring it down to about half hit points in a single blow. Um, you slash it across the face. It begins to erupt with flame. It hisses while... Oh, this isn't your flame blade, right? This is your... This is... No, this is the flame blade. Oh, this is the flame blade. Okay, it hisses. I'm carrying it for light anyway, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And begins to pop, and it squeals out um, punch and it with reaches... And you get a... Don't you get a free offhand punch? Yeah, I could do. I mean, I might as well, right? Yeah. Or does that would that have gotten you a penalty to hit? No. Oh no, you you got. Fourteen. Ooh <laughs> no, the natural one. You try to punch it with your shield, and the creature sort of just like goes down in the ground and pops up again. As Grimes is realizing what's happening, he looks down to his feet, and the creature pops up behind him and will grab at him with seventeen, ten, and twelve. Uh, the, yes, the three claws all miss, and then it goes to grab your ankle in its teeth with another 17. Is a uh, no good. And it can recedes my, into the earth once more. I can't get my second attack before it recedes. Nope. He's a Jace. Does it provoke an OA for. No, because escaping? he never really. Le like, by the time he's out of your threatening reach, he's in the earth. You know? Yeah. Uh, okay. You are fighting a creature who can move through stone while you're completely surrounded with stone. It's going to have every tactical advantage possible. Okay, but it's let's gone keep going. for a moment. I guess we keep moving. Keep Picking moving. Up to jog. Okay. You guys um, begin to jog. I go to dual weapons for getting putting the gem of tracing away. Okay. Um, so you, you um, both, I don't, yeah. William, you have your shield and your flame sword and you're jogging. Grimes, you've got a dagger and a sword and you're jogging. Uh, dagger and dagger. Yeah. It's dagger and a spear right. blade. Yeah. 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 Okay. You jog and seem to lose it or it gives up on you because I want to you eat know, it. F f half an hour or so <laughs> passes and you don't really see it again but you also notice that after like jogging for half an hour you guys are getting tired again your muscles are sore We've, we're somewhere we else runs. we walk eventually when it right yeah. yeah and it's probably around now that you get the distinct impression that um there is no more dimness to the light you just see like the nice orange light dancing across william's face or across the walls um and if you extinguish your flame blade, there is no light present whatsoever. Grimes, you've, uh... I don't know, Neil, how much do, would we have heard in passing about the elemental planes? Like, is that even a thing we'd know about at all whatsoever? Is the idea Maybe that we're fighting William monsters that... 
might yeah. know because you're a noble you've had a good education uh but then again you're also the martial fighter of the group right you're not so much the no yeah so give but... me uh we'll just do this one time give me an intelligence check to see what you might have remembered from your schooling holy oh. shit Yes, you have heard about the different planes. You understand the structure of the world, um, basically. Okay. So maybe, I don't think I knew we were in the shadow plane. I don't know that you'd necessarily know that was a thing, but yeah. if we've crossed from one place to another, Grimes, there's earth elementals, monsters that move through the rock. Maybe this, maybe we've crossed into the plane of earth. And I would suggest that that's not where we're trying to go. Is it closer to home? At least this plane makes sense. Yeah, I but uh, there's, no, there's no demons down here. Yeah, I don't normal. think this is the way home. Why would demons be the way home? I don't know. That's a good point. That is a good point. But um, unless we can kill that thing and eat it, I'm not sure how much longer we can survive down here. their plane, wherever we were before we went through that portal. Clearly has different rules. And uh, where we were just before this seemed the same as their plane, if not dimmer and shadowy. But this... Yes, I guess the demon plane is better than starving to death. Should we turn back? I think we should. Okay. It's not hospitable. You guys uh, turn around. Head back the other way. Yeah. Yeah. Pains me to do so, but yeah. <clears throat> All right. And hopefully, when we pass that same bit of corridor we spent ages walking up and down, at some point we'll feel normal again. Why don't you roll me d10s at minus five again, boys? Two d10. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I kind of feel like you're just returning back. I think your alertness is has returned to normal. Regular D10, minus five, yeah. Uh, yeah wait a minute. Four. Yeah, yeah. Mine should be yeah, a four. You're, you pass again, Nick. Yeah, this um, time. This motherfucker's so getting give me another initiative roll against the monster. Ooh, it rolls a 10 plus uh, three is a 13. I'm only gonna get a 10. You just get a flat 10. <laughs> so it appears again, sort of bursting out of a wall, but you have your sword drawn and ready, and you make a slash at it immediately, uh, hitting, but not criticaling it. Okay, uh, it's like D12 plus 13. 18 damage. And you lop its head off. The front of it and the arms drop to the ground, because it's coming out of the ceiling, and then you sort of, like, see flesh in a line and then, like, the rest of it just goes into the earth. Does it look edible? Not to... Just to... Not enough to shoot us in the foot, but does his sword actually affect the creature? It does. The, the flame sword? Yes. Okay. Sometimes I appreciate Neil's modifications. <laughs> Are Zorn typically immune to... Typically, typically immune to certain Not elements it. and maybe mm. slashing weapons and this doesn't have say bonus. Not this one, at least. Yeah. yeah. Um, does it look like meat? I don't know, Grimes. I think we're going back. I don't think we should eat it. You know, you saw what happened to Nimrod. It's sort of meaty. It has eyeballs. It has eyeballs and there is like a liquid running I'm from it. I'm taking its head it's... just in case. <laughs> Yeah, you take this strange monster, um, and it drips liquid as you pick it up, and it drips liquid from the wall. Not like red blood, I take but the head like with us. I'll, I'll eat its eyeballs if it uh, if it comes to that. You guys can turn back and uh, walk for hours and hours until you return to that section, return to the window and the door the side passage and return to the area where the tongue was uh, resonating. This place was all still in color until we get to the hallway. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a slow change, right? You're walking and the orange light is guiding your path and 
there's never really like a dramatic change, but just over an hour or so, the the orangeness fades and gives way to just grayscale. Um, it's really difficult to tell because at some point, like you see orangish rocks, but then the color of the rock is shifting from one patch to another, and then at some point it's just sort of darker. And then after a while, you're like, wait a minute, the rock hasn't changed, the light's not working anymore, and it's not quite so um, apparent where the, the transition happens. Do we feel different, though? Not at first. But if you, you hang out on this passageway for a little while or go a little bit beyond it, and slowly the soreness in your legs begins to fade once you get back to your regular trudge, and that hunger pain is still kind of there, but it's like when you, you have a headache and you take some paracetamol, and you don't really notice the headache go away. You're kind of like, fuck, I still have this headache, but it's taking this medicine. I'm going to watch some yeah. TV. And then you get distracted by the TV. And then when you think about your headache again, it's sort of gone. It's that same, like, fading when you're not paying attention to it. Pain. Okay. So, Grimes, maybe uh, this tongue thing. Maybe it just points to the wherever that was. Or maybe it finds a way out of here. Maybe if we head back to the, uh, where we, you know, the, the overground bit, maybe we can, maybe it'll point us somewhere else. Okay. Let's backtrack all the way, I guess. All right, I'm, I'm Are we, writing. is our hunger alleviated and our thirst? Eventually it becomes alleviated. Where are you going back? Where is back for you? Okay, so the central, you know, on the map how we've got the ring road. You want to leave? You want to leave the mines? I yeah, think so, yeah. It didn't. You didn't really give us any options for side passages or anything. I don't think there were other ways to go, right? There's not. Just... Yeah, it's basically a straight shot all the way until you exit the mine, which probably took you maybe a week to get down here to where you are now. Not that Gosh. time really has much meaning to you. Okay. Well, I, mean, I think we go back. back to the ring road. We've got, still got two more paths yeah. to try, so... Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, once we're out of the mine, looking at the tongue, mm -hmm. does it point back the direction we came? or It doesn't does point it point anywhere unless you point it there. It tends to resonate when you point it in a direction. So if you... Can I point it back that direction and locate that? Yeah, you point it back towards See? the mine and there's like a slight, like a... It seems faint. Okay. So we did we see a portal in the manned fort, like through the gate? I think we did, didn't we? Or not? I don't think we saw anything. I think we saw a fort with demons guarding it and noped right out of there. Well, we tried to attack the wall actually and had to retreat. Yeah, something like that. Um, by the way, I discarded the Zorn head. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll make our way all the way back to the crossroads if we can. All right. You can make your way back to the crossroads. And uh, why don't we take our second break as you return to this spot and take a look at your various options before you. See you on the other side of a break. Bye.